Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. As per the news coming from the well-known Leica Ice Universe, the cover display of Samsung's future Galaxy C Fold Slim would have the same 19.5 to 9 aspect ratio as the screen of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The new Fold's outer screen, at 6.5 inches, will be smaller than the S24 Ultra's but having the same aspect ratio. An 8-inch folding display within will handle the job and compared to the Galaxy C Fold 6, which Samsung unveiled earlier this month, both of these panels are larger. The smartphone that was originally rumored to be named Galaxy C Fold Ultra is actually the Galaxy C Fold Slim. It will reportedly be lighter and thinner than the Fold 6 and have a titanium frame. That means the Korean company's folding smartphone will be a high-end model that costs considerably more. The device is anticipated to arrive in the fourth quarter, so between October and December, but it's still unclear where it will launch. There have been rumors that it will only be accessible in China and Korea, however, Ice Universe clarifies that the Slim is not the same as the Samsung W25, which is a foldable design just for the Chinese market. In addition to that piece of news, the Exynos 1580, Samsung's newest mid-range SOC, has surfaced on Geekbench where its 5E8855 motherboard attests to the fact that it is an upgrade over the Exynos 1480. The listing runs Android 15 and showcases a new CPU core structure. Although the smartphone isn't specifically specified, it is reasonable to presume that it is the Galaxy of 56. In the single and multi-core tests on Geekbench 5.5, the Exynos 1580 receives 1046 and 3,678 points, respectively. Exynos 1480 in the Galaxy of 55 reportedly scored 891 and 3,349 in the same test, according to our benchmark database. Essentially, the single and multi-core performance improvements provided by the Exynos 1580 are 17% and 9%, respectively. Additionally, the real uplift might be even greater with later firmware upgrades. As previously indicated, the Exynos 1580 has four CPU cores at 1.95 GHz, three at 2.60 GHz, and one prime CPU core clocked at 2.91 GHz. Although the specific generation isn't stated in the listing, we can infer that the Cortex A720 and Cortex A520 function as performance and efficiency cores, respectively. The Exynos 1580 will ship with an NAMD Radeon-based Xclips 540 GPU, however, according to Geekbench's backend code, its precise specifications are currently unclear. That said, I'll be ending the discussion for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.